Unfortunately for Julie, some men can't take no for an answer. Can I come in? Come on, come on, come on. Let's just talk about this. There is nothing to talk about. Yes, you there is. Go. Come on, talk to me, huh? Lynette? Hi. What's up? I'm just dropping off that band candy your mom bought from Penny. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Um, Mr. Bolin was just leaving, right? Yeah, I guess I was. Hey, Lynette. Hey, Nick. What was that about? What do you mean? Well, I don't mean to pry. It's just when I was walking up, I heard you two arguing. He's the guy. The guy? The guy I was having the affair with. No. No. Why did you tell me this? You asked. Why not lie? I'm late for work. I would have bought anything. Look, don't freak out. It's over. Not for me. Now I have to tell your mom. No, you don't. She was pissed when I didn't tell her you might be pregnant. If I don't tell her about this, I'm dead. Oh, come on, Lynette. I am serious. She already shot Catherine. Now she's got a taste for blood. There's no reason to tell her anything. I broke it off weeks ago. Then why was he here? He wants me to take him back. Threatened to tell his wife. He doesn't care. He says he loves me. Oh, honey, you're smart enough to know that that's a lie, right? I keep trying to get over him, but then he comes over here and he, he says all this stuff and I, I just get so confused. Listen to me, I will handle this. Really? And you, you won't tell my mom? No, I won't. <sighs> Thank you. That night, for the first time in weeks, Julie Meyer would sleep well. Unfortunately, Lynette Scavo would not. Mm -hmm.